Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. And today we're taking a look at another kit from Kotobukiya, this time from the Frame Arms Girl line. And it's going to be the Relsweger Rufus Agito. And I probably butchered that name, but bear with me. Oh, Crow, her name doesn't matter when she's as fine as that. Um, the names do matter, Steve. That's how we identify the kit. Oh, I identify the kits in a whole different way. You're just going to be sick the entire review, aren't you? Yes. Now the kit is built and ready to be reviewed, but before we get into that, I do want to thank Hobbyland Japan for sending me this kit. If you want one for yourself, you can go to their website and check it out for yourself. Uh, it does cost about 5,800 yen, so the price point is a little bit higher than most Frame Arms Girl kits, but I think it's still at a reasonable price for what you're getting in the box. So let's go ahead and move on to the review. Hot damn girl, you are so fun. That ass. All right, so here she is, and we're gonna take this step by step and just go over details, the accessories, articulation, little gimmicks, and everything else wrapped up at the end. So let's start with the head. There's two different like body styles that this kit's gonna have. One is what I'm assuming, the Agito, which is what you see before you, and the other one's gonna be more of a kind of bikini or plain style. I mean, they're both wearing lingerie almost, but the other one doesn't have gloves, it doesn't have like the stockings, it really is just plain flesh. And the hair is actually different because she does not have the pigtails. So we're just going to take this step by step. So looking at the front cover art, she's actually not going to have the visor. This is just kind of like an extra little accessory. You see it in some pics within the manual, but for the most part on the like cover art, she's actually not going to have it. Now you are going to have multiple clear parts, which is going to be on the back of the head, and you're also going to have some on the sides. Looks really good, the clear purple is no problem to clean up, and even if you do make a little mistake, some of it is not really even going to be visible because it's going to be tucked in uh, within the part it's actually plugged into. Now for the most part, every Frame Arms girl has a unique expression or personality when it comes to their faces. For this one, she is kind of like really smug. I, I don't know, like she seems like a little more arrogant, maybe just confident 
character so i think that's really cool and i love keeping the faces uh, even for the ones that i don't use because i can always take those and use them as customs for other frame arms girls or megami device kids so we're taking a look at the body but i'm pretty much a normal frame arms girl on megami device it's nothing really different here uh she's gonna have the like red armor or i don't know what you would call it red clothes and some little white frills but for the most part it's nothing really too different with this frame arms girl now I think we need to talk about the ass because this deserves its own segment. Kotobukiya, you're doing a great job. I want you to keep up the great work because seeing the first Frame Arms girl, the, the Gorai, and the style and all that, I've built those kits and they were okay. But now we're coming full circle. This is a beautiful, beautiful ass sculpture. This is one that I would actually display her much like this. So for the arms, nothing really crazy is going on here. It's just. You got purple for the stockings, and that's pretty much it. Now, the details on the legs is that she is going to have high heels. She's also going to have a little bit of armor right there. And then going further up, it's pretty much just going to be stockings and a little bit of armor right there for the legs. And she does have this little connecting piece in the back. So you can plug up multiple different items, and this will come into play once we attach the Agato parts to her. Now, let's go over articulation. The hair is going to be on the peg joint system, so you can move it all around and it goes up and down. Ball joint for the head. Can move back and forth. Ball joint for the shoulder. Can rotate up. Rotation at the bicep. One point of articulation here at the elbow. The same peg and socket system is going to be used for the wrist. Ball joint for the chest. Moving down to the hips, there is a mechanism that you can actually pull down the legs. Legs is going to be on ball joints. Rotation at the thigh. Two points of articulation here at the knee. And for the ankle, it is pretty much going to be a peg and socket and can move back and forth. So for this head, she's actually not going to have any armor on it. It's all going to be completely short and it looks really good in my opinion now for the faces she's gonna have a straightforward kind of smirky face a look into the right face and a laughing looking to the left face now she does have different front hair this one's just gonna be pretty much even hair parted over the left eye and hair parted over the right eye so the changes to the arms is that they're all flesh tone instead of the purple gloves and for the legs is all gonna be flesh tone the only difference with the legs is that there's a toe bend right up here for those bare feet so for the hands, we're going to have two different colors to choose from. One is going to be the flesh tone and the other one's going to be the purple. So let's go ahead and start it off with the fists. Pointing fingers, fingers extended and joined, and an open hand to grip accessories. And lastly, an open finger hand. Now you do get these purple pieces and these are just kind of like extra. You can attach them to the side of the hip. Now you do this by removing these little side pieces on this attachment. And they plug in just like that. Now jumping directly to weapons, we're going to have these blades. Uh, these are pretty much not really a part of this kit. I, I know she comes with it with the bikini version, but this really isn't needed for this kit. But if you want to build it, you definitely can. And the next one we're going to take a look at is going to be this giant cannon. This is going to be a part of the Agito stuff, so whenever you want to make your dragon, this is going to be a part of that. You are going to have an all red color. It looks good, but you, I don't know, you are going to see a lot of the molding in there, so it's going to require a lot of uh, sanding and painting in order to get rid of all that. Uh, you're also going to have these uh, purple parts, but... These are supposed to be painted gold. You're supposed to have gold all throughout here. This is supposed to be gold. So it's missing a lot of the actual color that it's intended to be. Um, and then these polycaps over here are supposed to be uh, gray. But other than that, I mean, it looks really great. It's going to have a nice little handle that you can reposition in any of these locations. So that's actually going to be a really good thing. Now, if you want to store this thing, you can actually just fold this and you can attach this to like a backpack or something. Uh, so that way she can actually like maybe even uh, revolve it underneath the arm and it can act like a little cannon like that. Uh, something like the Destiny Gundam. And next we are going to have the shield. Fairly plain is not really much going on here, but it is supposed to be gold in multiple of these parts. It tips right up here, bottom down here. So a lot of missing gold. Easy to fix if you just have like a gold marker, just some gold paint lying around. Underneath it is going to look really cool. You got like these dragon fang kind of things. And then the handle is going to be right there.
So before I move on to the last set of weapons, there is going to be some extra parts, and these are going to be used for the dragon. Now, you are going to need the extra kit. Uh, unfortunately, I have not built it yet, so whenever I do get around to building that particular kit, I'll go ahead and get the dragon attached, and you can see it in that review. And here's the last weapons that you're going to be getting. Now, you do get two of these. I'm just kind of showing you one just for the sake of showing you one. Uh, it is basically a sword with a wire and kind of like a little dagger at the end of it. Uh, looks really good. It's all molded in clear purple. Unfortunately, you are going to have to do a lot of painting because some of this is going to be molded in red. I think all this is like red and then you're going to have like some gray and stuff, uh, such. Well, this is red and you got some gold at the bottom. Unfortunate, but it kind of is what it is. Looks good nonetheless. Um, you do get this little part right here that you can just fold down but it does attach to any kind of ports you do get a little port right here and uh yeah just a really cool looking weapon overall and you do get this back accessory which is going to be made to store the swords or you can store whatever you want to it since it does have the ports um but yeah that's pretty much it for this what we do here is go back 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 Now you do get some water slide decals, so if you decide to paint the face, you can replace those eyes easily. So before I get to my final thoughts, I do want to mention that you are going to have a surplus of extra parts, all from the previous Hellsverger uh, model kit. So if you you know do want to use those for something, you can. Uh, not too much of it is going to be applicable to this kit, although you really can change it. I would just recommend you probably using it for something else, like a side project, unless this is your side project. Here she is next to the Kotobukiya Achilles LBCS. She's honestly um, pretty much on the same par. I think they're both really good. Um, the Achilles obviously just has some parts here and there that really don't want to work well with me, pop off, and really just frustrating. So I would give the point probably to the Frame Arms girl. And here she is next to Dragon Dress Sophia from SkyTube. Um, really way better plastic wise. Um, I mean, there's a lot of similarities between them, but. Uh, the point's definitely going to go to frame arms just because I, I I don't know, I like the plastic more. Uh, parts don't just constantly fall off every chance it gets. Uh, it's, it's a more sturdy kit. So for my final thoughts. Honestly, I love this kit. Starting off with just the pros. The weaponry, I think, are fantastic. I love the swords. I love the cannon. The shield is actually pretty cool, um, but I'll get back to that when it comes to the cons. Now, the weapons loadout is going to be a little bit more simplistic. It's not as heavy as I've seen a lot of other Frame Arms Girl kits come with, but for this, it's really not bad. Now, the design, that is a huge plus in my book. Even though that may be subjective for a lot of people, I think the design looks great. It's not very different from, you know, the different versions of her, but it's just with everything attached, I think she looks so badass. And the color scheme is just beautiful. Now, another pro is going to be the articulation. I think she is going to be fantastic. The only probably downside I would have is going to be those hips. There's a lot of angles I wanted to put her in, but it really wouldn't let me because these uh, hips aren't going to go as wide as I really want them to and it's not really a big con it's just more or less like hey just kind of be weary of this now for the cons honestly there's not like a whole lot to really mention um, the biggest thing is going to be the color accuracy obviously the weapons and a lot of things on her is not going to be color accurate with the missing like gold and I think there's uh, some red as well as some uh, gray that is just not applied I don't consider that a huge con, more or less just another step that you're going to have to do with this kit. I would say a big con is going to be something that's like you're missing an entire part of this kit. Like it's supposed to have these weapons per the canon of a show and it didn't come with those weapons. Like if the RX-78 never had beam sabers or the rifle or shield that was supposed to come with the, uh, the kit, that would have been a pretty big con. But this, really just color accuracy, it's not a huge deal. It still looks really good, even without all the, the gold and everything. It just obviously would look a lot better. But if you're going to do detail painting, I kind of would think that you might as well just go the full mile because there's going to be a lot of detail painting on this kit. Um, probably another con is not too much um, water slide decals. Like, you get a few that you can put onto the arm and you get the eyes, but 
I actually would have liked if it came with a little bit extra. Could have been something simple like some warning stickers or something like that that I could put on the gun or the shield. Maybe an emblem, but uh, that's really about it. Lastly, I will mention another con is the faces. I really, really wish that she would have came with maybe one or two extra uh, faces. Maybe even some like water slide facial expressions, because uh, she does come with a blank face, so you can use that to your advantage. But yeah, it really just sucks that she doesn't have much of uh, expression except for the normal kind of like smug face, but then it's looking to the left, and then she's going to have a open laughing one that's looking to the right. Uh, that's, that's pretty much it. The other head and the other hairstyles, that's actually a pretty cool thing though. So that's it for review guys. Honestly, this kit felt amazing to build. It wasn't redundant. It really just stands off as its own kit. Um, everything is pretty good except for just the color, but you can get some Gundam markers or some paint and then paint that up yourself. But if you want to pick up this kit, make sure to go to hlj.com and you can pick one up for yourself. But that's it for me. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.